Today, I'll show you how to create a user account or sign in a user using Firebase like this. As you can see here, I have a basic login page where when you create a user, that user is created on the Firebase backend. We start with a register and login page we created in a previous video. The first thing I want you to do is go to firebase.com and log in. Click get started. Then add project. Give your project a name and continue. Disable analytics because we don't need them. When you get to this page, click on web app because we are adding a web app to our project. Give it a name and click register. This will give you a script tag which you will need to put in your JavaScript file. Copy this. Go back to Visual Studio Code, create a JavaScript file, and paste this code into it. Then, go back to Firebase and click on the Authentication tab. Click on Create. These are all the sign-in methods that are supported by Firebase. I already have a tutorial on Google sign-in and plan to do one on Facebook login later. But for now, click on email and password and enable that. Go back to Visual Studio Code and initialize Live Server. Once it is open, copy the local host domain without the port. Go back to Firebase, Settings, Authorize Domains and paste this in. This is a list of all the domains that are allowed to create or log in users using Firebase Authentication. Once you are done, link your script tag. Make sure the type is module. All your input fields and buttons need to have ID so that we can grab them in our JavaScript file. Back in our script file, all you need to do is grab all the input fields, values, and the button using their IDs. Then add an event listener to the button such that when the button is clicked, this function runs. I like to include prevent default to prevent the page from refreshing every time the submit button is clicked. And then use an alert to test if the button works. It works, so let's continue. Go back to the Firebase documentation and import get auth and create user with email and password. Mm -hmm. 
these are functions that are imported from firebase from this link right here i'll leave all the links to the firebase documentation in the description next we need to copy the function create user with email and password and paste into the function that we created within our button and we're done the create user with email and password function takes in auth email and password as its argument another thing i like to do is use an alert to notify the user what's going on This error occurs because I defined the values for these input fields outside the event listener. So just copy this into the function. And now it works perfectly. I like to redirect users to another page once they are registered. So let's redirect and create that page. Once a user account is created on Firebase, the user can sign in on our login page using their email and password. This is very simple to implement. Just create the login.js file. Link it to your login page. and copy the code from the previous JavaScript file into it. All we need to do is change the function. The function we need now is called sign in user with email and password. So I'll just copy that from the Firebase documentation. And of course, to log in, you need to input the email and password of the account created. If you want access to this code or more code I've written, click the link in the description down below. That's all I've got for this video. Go away now.